Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato, and this is Acropolis, the Archaic Age. Uh, we just, at the end of the last episode, took Astphalia. Uh, we're still waiting on the, uh, on the completion of our admin center. Sangria's grown, that's great. Um... Yeah, once we have uh, once we have this admin center finished and we've got a whole bunch more uh, admin points to play around with, we'll be in a much much better position. Not like we're in a particularly bad position at the moment, but hey ho. Uh, also, we can pretty much straight away afford to build uh, another admin center, and honestly, I think that that is certainly something that we uh, want to consider. So, everything should be fine here. Trade. I did turn off two trade routes. Hey, hold on a minute. Where did my, uh, where'd my admin ability go? Has it not been assigned? I thought I had, uh, thought I had some available. Where is my admin ability gone? That's rather strange. Hmm, why is it not showing up? It certainly should be. Well, this might be somewhat of a problem if this doesn't work. Um, all right, let's go back to selling a bunch of wine. Let's go back to selling a bunch of olive oil. Is this going to work? It takes us down to negative. This is a problem. It Now, it's, it's given us the extra bonus of uh, the respect, but it hasn't given us the... The bonus that we needed in terms of admin ability. Huh. That is somewhat peculiar. Okay, well that's, um, that's really annoying actually. That is really, really annoying. I don't know if perhaps there is, you know, am I perhaps missing the fact that there is a square outside? Oh, I can I can do smaller roads. Yeah. No, it still does not work. Well, I don't want to tempt fate with this. Uh Stop selling for the moment. Stop selling until we can at least buy some more admin points. Yeah, I have no idea why this just didn't seem to work. That is very very strange. Okay, well, maybe we won't be building another one anytime soon. Because why on earth would we if uh, if it's not giving us the points that it said that it would? Very, very weird. Uh, 100 drachmas for 30 build points. Let's accelerate that slightly. Uh, we are losing one wine a month. That's no problem at all. Um, duh, 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 duh. I would like to get... Can we demolish buildings, by the way? Oh, yeah, we can. We can just click on them and demolish them. Um, I would like to get a mansion. A mansion is something that hopefully will have some sort of a benefit to us. Although, I'm not sure if it will uh, as stated. I don't know why that admin center isn't giving us the admin points that it said it would. Right. Plonk you down. This takes 12 months to build, so quite quite a wee while. Uh, I also have enough uh, money to purchase another point. Let's do that. And that means that we can get back on the bandwagon selling this olive oil, which is just, it's just more money, really, which is pretty much what we're after. Uh, need to be conscious of the fact that we do need more wine. I am on it. We do need more wine, but the wine shop requires 120 build points, and we do not quite have that. We're not there yet, but we we will be there. We'll be there kind of soon. Well, hey, so has the mansion has the mansion worked? Food consumption two, wool consumption two, olive consumption one, pottery consumption one, wine consumption one. Okay, this is a little bit interesting because this puts us into a negative for pretty much everything right now. So this is probably the point where we need to start pulling back a little bit on our trade routes. Um, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. We just need to deal with it. Um, olive oil we're fine for. We can continue to, to get rid of that. Uh, can we buy wool? Let's buy 
one wool a month. That will pretty much sort us out for wool. Uh, food. Don't have the option to buy food from anywhere, unfortunately. Can we perhaps... Oh, actually, you are just about to upgrade to level 3, and you are going to get us more food. So I'm not actually going to worry about food too much for now. Uh, let's support you in growing. Also support you in growing, because if everyone can hit a level up, then that means that we will get some extra resources, which is pretty much exactly what we need at a moment like this. Cool. Great. Okay. Let's sort of run with it a little bit, see what happens. We've got, you know such substantial stockpiles that it actually doesn't really matter as it stands anyway. In fact, great. Benefits to us all. In fact, I'm actually going to stop sell, uh, stop buying wool from Delos because we've got uh, tons and tons and tons of wool stockpiled. So we'll just sort of leave that for now. Man, I am so happy with, um, with our financial position. It really, really is, is very, very good. So regional power, we've done that. Marble Masters, we're heading towards that pretty quickly. Um, which is nice. Divine Homes, have at least two Modus Hevels, can't do that. Have at least one Stoa, I have no idea what that means. It might be Stockpile. Can we build a Stockpile? Is a Stockpile a thing that we can build? Market, no. Barracks, Tradeport, Carpenter, Weaponsmith. Don't honestly know. Uh, seven Trade Partners, two Markets, we do need to build even a single market, that would be good. Um, and then we need trade ports as well, four fishing ports, and we need to embrace Thal, Thal something or other. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just sort of conscious of the fact that we do have a couple of issues with these things. Wine, I know that we can just stop selling. So we can do that anytime that we want, so I'm fine for wine. Pottery, we can't actually get more potter pottery stuff in unless we uh, unless we buy it in. Unfortunately, this benefits us all. I think that that village expanded and gave us wool. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, we need to try and get pottery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some build points. I'm going to buy two lots of build points, and that should be enough for us to get a pottery place. Uh, da, 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 wine shop, potter. That consumes one wood. However, I do not believe that we have anything else that consumes any wood at all currently, except buildings, of course. And yeah, our we have one carpentry place, which is here, and that just gets us two wood, and that for pretty much everything has been totally, totally fine. Uh, we're waiting for another village to expand and give us extra food. Yeah, we're waiting for Igares to expand and give us some food. That's pretty much what we're hedging our bets on for now anyway. Unless we can buy any food. No, we can't. Are we trading with you? We're not trading with you, but we wouldn't be able to get anything of interest anyway. That's fine. Um, also, declared independence, current, construction complete, Potter. Great. So that means that we're fine for everything now, except wine. Okay, turns out that we need a heck of a lot of, um, heck of a lot of wine production, really, because we're selling so much of the stuff, and we're also using quite a lot domestically as well. It's fine, it's a good position to be in. Um, just sort of thinking, fortifying. Plus one drachma and fortification expenses. It'd be pretty good if we could fortify all of our territory. I mean, we've got a lot of money at the moment. Might not always be the case. Let's let's fortify this area. I wonder if it'll actually change anything on land. In the city, so to speak. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it'll... Doesn't look like it'll show up as anything, actually. Doesn't particularly matter. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so we're still losing, still losing a little bit of food, but that's okay, because... This place is almost leveled up, which is phenomenally good. And I think that, honestly, since since we got so much money coming in, really, at the moment, um, we can just continue to... Ooh, we're losing losing a lot of wine here. And uh, we can just continue to buy build points. And I think that's probably what we're going to do. Buy one lot of build points. That takes us a step closer to being able to build another... Uh, another winery. Another wine shop. 
120 build points is what we need and we're going to do that as soon as we possibly can in the meantime i think we're going to have to scale down our trading a little bit actually it's still pretty good still a pretty good deal but uh yeah we need to scale that down in order to make sure that we're we're breaking even beautiful this brings benefits to us all so that should mean that we're yeah we're breaking even on food now which is pretty darn good pretty happy with that uh, in fact we can pretty much rely on these these other villages really just to just to bring in the extra food i think we are actually supporting yeah literally every village at the moment now oh no sorry except this village and this village oh no we are supporting you um i'm not gonna i'm gonna stop supporting you i need the extra build power the extra build points but everywhere else i'm quite happy to continue supporting actually that's probably okay um, i would love to build another another admin center but the problem is is that it doesn't do what it said it was going to do and therefore we can't we can't do anything we just cannot do anything uh speaking of what we can do though i'm gonna get some build points and with that i think that that should be enough to build to build a wine shop indeed it is yet another wine shop yet another wine shop on the island of naxos and you know what i'm okay with that wine is one of those things it sells high you know it's pretty good brings benefits to us all i'm pretty sure these places just give us wool most of our uh yeah you give us wool you give us wool you give us marble you give us food olive oil and you give us food yeah i knew that you gave us food so honestly pretty darn happy with the way that things are going at the moment uh, trade routes we're fulfilling pretty much everything that we need to i can now bump this back up to uh to selling five wine that'll make us that'll make us draw even on wine which is totally fine uh, we could potentially look and see if we could sell some more olive oil to someone selling three out of two olive oil excuse me oh did these guys break their trade agreement with us let's build up let's build this up then let's build up our relations with um oh it's it's athens now oh cool athens has um yeah wow they expanded quite quite far i'm a little bit worried that we might get um we might get expanded onto how many allies do we have just one it's not super powerful but you know what we'll we'll propose an alliance with athens and if we could get an, an alliance with athens that would be hugely good that'd be really really good okay proposed trade agreement with athens uh oh we need another administrative ability before we can propose a trade agreement with athens uh fine hold on a minute trade partners i'm just gonna revoke my yeah i'm gonna revoke this right because there's no point does that decrease my favor with athens i don't actually think it does yeah i think this actually might work out great uh proposed trade agreement 78 you need 78 oh my goodness lose 78 drachmas fine wow we are spending a lot to improve athens opinion of us and we can't even propose a trade agreement because we need 80 opinion 92 drachmas in order to make athens like us just that little bit more that is a scandal and all in the in the pursuit of selling more olive oil like you know we're not we're not we're not tripping over ourselves in olive oil really um but i would like to get rid of a little bit more either way that makes kind of makes sense i guess why um why cirrus broke their alliance with us actually it doesn't make sense they should have kept their alliance with us so that we could have defended them against athens that's what i would have done anyway um if i was if i was in cirrus's position great now propose a trade agreement yes that's great. I would also love to get an alliance with Athens. However, the problem is... Okay. Now we're back up to selling three olive oil. 
That's great. That's great. That's what I always wanted. Do we want an alliance with Athens, though? That's the problem. They do have four allies, which means that if there is ever a battle that Athens is involved in, and Athens does seem like it is probably probably in a fair amount of battles, it's surrounded by a whole bunch of different dudes um, on the mainland. Who are you allied with? Pla Plato, Lemuria, Lari no, Larimina, Larimina, Karistos, and Thespiae. Okay, why are you emailed with uh, emailed? Why are you allied with such a with such a silly little state? Okay, doesn't really make sense. Doesn't make sense at all, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, speaking of what doesn't make sense, actually, we should probably try and look to see if we can target someone new. Delos, man, it would be good if we could take over Delos. That would be really, really good. In fact. Maybe we just straight up attack you. How much would it cost to raise all of our armies? Not that much. 82 drachmas. We could do this. And then we revoke our trade agreement. That saves us an admin point. And then we get favorable trading odds on all of our uh, marble. I think this is the thing to do. He's not allied with anyone. We will have to suspend a couple of trade routes, but that's okay. We've, we've got so much money coming in anyway. It's fine. I think we do this, actually. Yeah, let's totally, let's totally attack Delos. They broke their trade agreement with me. You got to bear that in mind. I'm going to raise my entire army. They could have something quite big here. They could have something quite big. But... You will lose three respect if you succeed. That's annoying. That's fine, though. No big deal. Anyway, let's do it. I don't care if we lose respect. Due to low opinion, Delos has closed its markets to us. Shock horror. I mean, this is just another reason as to why I'm going to, to battle with Delos. Okay, so they have a bunch of morale. However, we have... We have got the... the, the we've got the width. However, they do have much, much higher attack values. They also have much fewer soldiers. And already they are... Wow. Oh, they, their morale went up. I've never seen that before. Um, Cool. All right. That was a pretty pretty flawless battle. I don't think there's any chance that we lose it now. So I'm pretty sure that I can celebrate the victory. A glorious victory. 320 casualties. It's quite a lot, but no big deal. Uh, great. Our admin ability has gone uh, through the floor. That's fine. We can address that by, well, not much we can really do, to be honest. Um, modify that. Don't sell any wool. Don't sell any olive oil. Yeah. Army has returned. Returning soldiers, a thousand returning soldiers. It's pretty good. You're losing build points. Am I losing build points? Why am I losing build points? What have I done? What have I done that has changed that is that, is, that means I'm losing build points? Village support, tech investment, easy difficulty, trade balance, city population. Yeah, what have I done? Did my city population go down? How did I lose build how do I how did I go from like gaining build points to losing build points? I don't know. Um did we revoke our trade uh, trade agreement with um, with Thingy? I think we did. I think we did. I think it's fine. Uh, okay, then. I don't know how I started losing build points, but that is what it is. I guess we stop investing in a city. Either that or when a city gets to a certain size, it makes you invest more build points. Now, where's our biggest city? There is one that I think might be like a level four. You're level three. You're level two. Level two. Nope. Don't understand. Do not understand at all why. I do want to get you up to level five. So that's a must. Stop supporting you. I don't need any any city that gives me more wool. I don't, I don't need any more wool from anyone really. 
more olive oil. Don't really need any more olive oil. We just need to focus on the cities that actually give us give us something in return. Don't have enough space for resources, and you have available trade routes. I'm aware of both of these things. However, our treasury is in a bit of a state. Neglected public spaces. There's so much going on in our city, it seems public spaces have gotten somewhat forgotten. Spare no effort. Minus 34 build points, minus 28 drachmas, plus one respect. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go all in on that. Okay, so we need more admin ability. We need more money. I, I, I promise you, if this admin center had actually worked as is as it intended, it it would be fine. It, it I, I tell you what, it might actually be worth just destroying this. Yeah, can we go and have a look at our admin ability? Administrative ability. Here we go. Yeah, it should list. It should list the positives here. So it's got our base. And of course, I guess as we expand the government, that just increases our base. Um, man, that is really annoying, actually. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why that's why that's the case. I guess that might be a bug. I will perhaps look into this in between episodes just to see if there is somewhat of a problem there, but no big deal. It's fine, we can survive, it just means that, you know, things are a little bit touch and go, really. A moment of weakness. Don't really care about a moment of weakness because I'm pretty sure it only makes me aware uh, of my allies. Um, yeah, we should probably maybe stop investing in poetry. Or stop investing in technology. It would free up a point, and if it frees up a point, then I will tell you exactly what we use it on. We use it on trading with Delos because we can sell five marble. Selling five marble, that is huge. That's 6.9. I think that's actually our biggest our biggest value that we can that we can get out of any trade route, I think. Marble, from what it seems to me, is the is the most valuable of resources, at least that I've encountered so far. Metal might be technically more valuable, um, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Yeah, either way, I think that our marble will probably go down if we're selling five of it off each month. Wow, actually, tell a complete lie, our domestic supply of marble is six a month. That is insanely large, um, and our exports are only five. Okay, that's totally fine. Everything is going pretty darned well. I do think so. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. We've been playing as Naxus in the, in the Archaic Age. Sorry, Acropolis Archaic Age. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.